Hey guys, it's Ethi here, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about Android P on the OnePlus X. Yes, you heard me right, Android P on the OnePlus X. Let's get started. So in order to get Android P on your OnePlus X, you need to have three things. First, uh, the latest TWRP recovery flash in your phone. By the latest TWRP recovery, I mean the latest TWRP recovery. So the reason for that is that uh, if you ha if you're having a previous version of TWRP recovery flashed in your phone, then this will not work. It it will give you an error just like this, and uh, it will just not flash in your phone. It will say that this is for the OnePlus One and it will not just work. So in order to get the latest TWRP recovery, I have linked uh, the link from where you will get the exact latest TWRP recovery. So just go there, download the latest one. I think it is the 3.2.3.0 or 3.3. .3. It's some somewhere around that. So just download that and um, flash it in your phone so if you don't know how to flash twrp recovery twrp recovery in your phone then just go to the link right here i have made a video check that out you'll have your twrp flash in your phone and if you already have a twrp flash in your phone it's not the latest one uh, just like me i had 3.1.1.0 so it will not work so 3.1.0.0 I had that so it's not it, it it did not work on that so if you're having a TWRP flash in your phone then you can either follow the steps that I told you just now go to the video and check that you can do that or else just download the recovery have it stored in your external storage devices for example an OTG or an or a micro SD card so just do that and then you have an option like install dot uh, img files just go there and flash the twrp recovery uh, you'll have your twrp recovery updated uh, so that's how you update your twrp recovery if you don't have it go to the video if you already have it then you can update via this method or the previous method which i told you second thing you need is the rom zip file download it um, have it in your external storage devices uh, any of those and the third thing you need is the g apps package both these are unofficial nothing uh, is official from either lineage os or aos plus stuff like that so this rom is actually developed by one of those great developers yumechi and he has been providing a lot of support to the oneplus x and i thank him so yes both of those Links are in the description box down below. You can go and download it and keep it ready in your um, any of those external devices. Once you have that, boot into TWRP. If you know how to flash a ROM, the first thing you do before I telling you this, you just go and wipe the data. If you didn't know this, just go wipe the data. Once you're done that, insert the OTG, select the OTG storage and then flash the ROM. So now when you flash the ROM, just wait there and reboot to system. Once you reboot to the system, go back again to the TWRP recovery and flash the G apps package. The reason you do that is that because when uh, you flash both of these together, I have done that personally. If you do that, uh, then the pixel setup, the setup which you get uh, once you boot into a new phone, it just keeps on crashing and it will just not let you boot inside the ROM. So this is the way you're going to do that. And if you do the same way, you're going to go inside of this new ROM. And talking about the ROM, this gets you the Android P. Um, let's, let's just talk about some stuff that is new. Uh, so talking about the boot animation, it is new as compared to the rom which i had previously i was on android 8.1 if you want to have android 8.1 links here as well as in the description so you can check that out and um, this rom gets you android p which is the obvious reason and which is the only reason that we are flashing this rom so you're going to have that 
So now let me take you to certain quirks and features that Android P gets you. It's going to be my voice over because I just can't remember all the stuff uh, that's that Android P gets, but a certain stuff would be like having a new settings, a menu, a new notification panel, a new kind of a launcher, um some some quirks and features which you are going to hear right now. So let's go to the settings and check the Android version. We can see that the phone is updated to Android 9.0, which is of course the Android Pie. Let's talk about the new things. The quick settings panel has been changed. The clock has been moved on to the left side of the status bar and there is a lot of space in the center section. Well, this is because Android Pie has support for notches. So that there is no content hidden by the notch, there is this gap. The settings UI have been changed. They are now more compact and colorful. We also have an all over circular theme going on. The quick setting icons, the app drawer icons, the notifications, etc. are all having a circular accent to them. The notifications now appear in a different way. Like we have this transparent bar which displays the app name when you get a notification along with the content of the notification. The volume rockers now adjust the media volume by default, indicating that calling is now not the primary function of a smartphone. We can toggle between the phone ringtone on, vibrate and mute by the switch above the media volume. The alert slider is now programmable to do something new. On the bottom position, you'll receive everything like a normal mobile phone. You'll receive calls, notifications, alarms, etc. On the middle position, the phone goes into the DND mode. You will not receive any calls now or any notifications, but you will be able to get alarm notifications. The topmost position is complete DND mode. You will not even get alarms now. The recent apps now have been arranged in a horizontal way, somewhere close to iOS, but it does feel good. Overall, the animations are made a lot faster and the experience is very fluidic. Now let's talk about the things that the ROM lacks. The ROM lacks in customization options. Uh, there are close to no customization options, just it comes with the basic Android P functionality. The on-screen navigation gestures or the on-screen navigation buttons don't work. There are few bugs here and there which may or may not occur on certain devices. Talking about one of those bugs is that when I first tried to install an APK, um, the package installer failed but then when I gave permissions to download uh, from unknown sources manually, it started to work. The default launcher we have in this comes with no customization options, just selecting the icon shape. It's pretty close to the one we have on Pixel, but I don't really like it. I couldn't test the camera as the cameras on my phone are broken, but it will work on yours. Yumichi says that the HDR on camera does not work. The battery life isn't too great. You'd get close to 4 to 5 hours depending on your usage. The standby time is very bad. There was a 15 to 20% battery drop overnight with airplane mode on as well as the battery saver mode on and the brightness on the least level possible. But overall this ROM feels good and can be used as your daily driver ROM. You'd need to charge it twice a day but yeah, it's been working out for me and it would probably work out for you as well. So that that is all up with the quirks and features. Of course, I wouldn't have covered all of them. So if you're planning to flash this ROM, then do let me know uh, the cer certain quirks and features that you find with this ROM. So do let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, there are probably chances that I miss them. Um, so yeah, do let me know. So yes, that is all about the Android P. ROM on the OnePlus X. I really thank um, Yumichi for giving this kind of support to the OnePlus X which was forgotten by the original creators of this phone. This 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 is a beautiful phone and uh, let me tell you this, I made my OnePlus X transparent. So I have this good looking OnePlus 
X now. The phone when it came to me, it was shipped uh, with Android Lollipop in it, 5.1.1, and I was so happy when OnePlus rolled out the Marshmallow update for it. Uh, but I was very disappointed when they did not give Android N. But that's something else to talk about. Th- that that could be another video. But I'm not going to make a video about that. Um, so thanks to you, Michi, and the other ROM makers, developers that have given a lot of support to this device, and it still works really well. Uh, I of course don't game on this. I just have. Uh, a few sessions of social media, WhatsApp, and stuff like that. It works really great. Calling is perfect. Everything works. Everything, everything works. A, a few bugs or two. And also, let me tell you that this ROM is the first. It it is in the alpha stage rather. It's not the first. I, I it's not the first um, prototype, I guess. But no, prototype is not the right word. I would say that this app is in the alpha stage of its development, and you, Michi, has said that he is going, he is working on it, and he'll be giving further updates on this very ROM. And if there is anything interesting that goes on uh, with the development of this ROM, then I will definitely make a video. Uh, for this video, thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then don't forget to give a like. If you loved it, then definitely subscribe and let me know in the comment section down below about um, the feelings or the opinions that you have about this ROM and um, also the video in general. So yes, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye bye.